That's all we fucking deserve. That is all we fucking deserve. <sighs> Honestly, I, I, I just, I don't even want to think about this match ever again. If I wasn't going to do this review right now, and yes, I'm full of rage. I'm just, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. But if I wasn't going to do it now, I'd have never done this match review. I never want to think about that game ever again. What was the point in the stresses of last season? What was the point? Like, the clawback to finish third, absolutely pointless. Means absolutely nothing. Nothing whatsoever. We've bottled it. Again. Again. Two games in to this group. We're six points. We're looking rosy. And then we go to Istanbul and we lose 2-1. Fucked it. Absolutely fucked it. From that point on... And that was it. That was it. Like, <laughs> I don't know how much of a, of a look, I can't even speak. I don't even know how much of a review this can possibly be. It's just, I hate overreacting. I hate being negative. I just, I just can't. I just can't. There's no way. After two games, beating PSG 2-1, beating Leipzig 5-0, you cannot bow out of the Champions League in the group stage. You just can't. You just can't. Just a capitulation, man. Two minutes in, and a City reject, Angelino, manages to score. Best thing he's done in his career, or ever will do in his career. Fucking knobhead. And then, like, ten minutes later, we, we concede again. <laughs> game over after, like, 20 minutes. Not even that. 12 minutes. Game over. And then they, they could have scored three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fuck, man. Like, <sighs> I just honestly it's been a while it's been a while since I've got this irate like I'm beyond anger but I'm still getting angry like I just I don't know I don't know like I, <sighs> we can see the third uh, but this one's chalked off for offside of course it's offside but um doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Um, the second half begins. We uh, we bring on some changes. You know, Donny van der Beek comes on, uh, comes on. Actually, that was the only change at this point. And then, you know, we look a, a little bit more threatening. Um, but we concede. Uh, it's a stupid error. Maguire should clear it. Uh, De Gea should come out quicker. One of them should talk. You know, they both speak English. De Gea speaks Spanish. Probably other languages, you know, there's enough um, vocals in there to, you know, for someone to say, fucking get the ball. But no, we don't. We concede. And 3-0. And from that point on, it was just too big of a mountain. Even for the team that's won the last five away games or whatever it is, games being behind. I think it is away. Who the fuck cares? There's a Manchester derby in four days. I don't give a fucking shit, man. Fuck. Come on, man. The season feels like it's over. And it's December. It's not even 2021. I feel like an Arsenal fan. For fuck's sake. And they're lounging in 16. <sighs> Fuck, man. 3-0. 3-0 at this point. And uh, we just... We can't. <laughs> it's too much of a mountain. We bring on the snake. Snake 2. You know, um, I did... I did have uh, a Di Maria shirt, but uh, yeah, that's not on the wall now. And it was turned the other way when it was. But uh, yeah, that, that man right there, I think you can see uh, on the, what would it be for you? It would be on the right. It's the left for me. That man, that number six is getting turned over as soon as that motherfucker leaves this club. My God. I don't even want to get into that, uh, like the Min Mino Raiola bullshit, but uh, the timing of that. Oh, you do the interview a week and a half and you release it one day before the most important game of our season? <laughs> you fucking cunt! <sighs> Anyhow, we managed to get back into it. Uh, Greenwood actually plays, you know, it was some good skill to be fair. We win the penalty, it's a bit soft. Penchester United, you know, Pen Penandes, whatever. We score. 
And then two minutes later, the snake manages to get a header. Um, you know, he does something for the club. Ever since that City game where he scored two, other than that, what has he done? What has he done? Like, in all honesty, look, oh, this is going to... I don't know how this is going to look, but how? If, if you're a fan of another club that's watching this for banter, brilliant, you know, it would be a nice laugh for you. But in all honesty, if a player does that so consistently for you, goes into the media via his agent or his brothers and constantly berates it. If you want to leave the club, fair enough. There's a way to go about doing it. You do not do it like this. Just, oh my God. Nobody, nobody can see that he's in the right. It's it's ridiculous. But anyhow, he wins the header um, and it hits off Maguire. Um, potentially handball, but... Uh, I, to be honest, it looks like it hits his head. It's big enough anyway. And yeah, he manages to get it in. Uh, I don't know if it's an own goal. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, 3-2. Um, and then the seven minutes left. And we, we pile on the pressure. But it's it's too late. It's too late. There's a few half chances in there with Rashford, with Greenwood, with Fernandez. I feel sorry for Bruno. I really do. This man is literally giving everything. Everything. It, if Bruno doesn't perform, the team doesn't perform. And... It wasn't even a lack of performance today um, in terms of Bruno. I, I think, well, the, the system at the start just wasn't good enough. Three at the back, um, it, it just it didn't work. It gave Leipzig a hell of a lot of chances. Um, I thought it was good before the game kicked off, but I, I was worried. I didn't tweet this, but I did say this uh, to my girlfriend. Uh, Matic and McTominay did worry me because the last game that they played together was absolutely shit. Uh, I don't think they're bad players individually, and I think they do get a f fair amount of abuse that's unwarranted, but together they just don't work. Fred getting a red card really hurt us. Uh, Cavani, Martial not uh, being injured, but of course Leipzig had injuries. And yeah, it, it's really, really tough for me to give it any praise whatsoever. Leipzig deserved to win. I haven't said that. They did. Of course they did. I hate PSG, but you know they, they beat us last game like... Fair enough, it's a tough group, it's the toughest group, but still, six points from the first two games. You just can't let this happen. You just can't. Look, I'm going to regret uploading this. I know I am. There's, there's a lot of fucking shit in here that I, I don't mean. Of course, I hate what Mina Raiola said uh, about Pogba uh, and, you know, the, the, the way he's going, but... Uh, it hurts. It really hurts because he's a quality player and it's a player you want to love. You really do. And I'm not blaming this entirely on Pogba. The timing, though, is deliberate. You cannot say that's not deliberate. When the interview was conducted with Tootle Sport, or whoever the fuck it is, a week and a half ago, it was timed for this game, which just speaks volumes. But regardless, the result is nothing, well, something, but not all, to do with Pogba. Um... Not at all. We just didn't perform today. Um, Tears wasn't great. Wan Bissaka wasn't great. Shaw wasn't great. Uh, Lindelof and Maguire were eh. They were a little bit better than the other three. Um, McTominay was meh. Uh, Matic was meh. Fernandez was decent. You know, it wasn't a ten out of ten by him by any stretch, but at least he tried. Greenwood was better in the second half than he was in the first. Rashford couldn't really get into the game today. Um, and the subs, Donny tried, but I don't know, maybe he needs a bit more time to gel. Uh, he hasn't been bad since joining. He, he hasn't had many games, of course, but um, yeah, I mean, he, he ran in behind, which is something we lacked. We really, really, re and again, it's not an excuse because Leipzig had three players out anyway, but we really missed someone like Edison Cavani today. It's so annoying that he was injured because if he was on, even if he was brought from the bench, man, the crosses we were putting in, the, it was perfect for someone to head them in, but um, we just couldn't. And yeah, I'm deflated. Of course I am. Of course I am. We've got to go in the Europa League, man. <laughs> this season already has a game every fucking five minutes, and now we've got to go into the Europa League. And I don't know who else is going to join us there. I don't know the groups today, if Atletico Madrid played. I don't think they did. I think they played tomorrow. You've got um, Inter Milan, uh, Real Madrid, potentially. Of course, you've already got Spurs there, Leicester, Arsenal. It's going to be fucking 
shite, man, for fuck's sake. I don't even know what the Europa League theme is. I don't really want to hear this again, but I'm going to search it because at the end of the day, we're, we're in the Europa League again. And uh, it's not great. It's not great. Europa League theme. Let's let's end it off. You know, I did the banter Champions League one at the start. So uh, what's... Really? Really? Europa League? Europa League? This is what I gotta listen to. Brilliant. Absolutely wonderful. Looking forward to that.